Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Bryce Henschel and today I'm going to be talking to you about why living on your own when you go to college is a good thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin. You're, you're going to college, maybe you're a senior in high school, going to college, or maybe you are transferring somewhere, kind of out of your house and going to more of a college town and you're getting an apartment or a duplex or something like that. And you're looking for advice and you're looking for the reasons why it's a good thing. So, moving out of your parents' house and living on your own, it teaches you responsibility. And if all, if you guys probably know like responsibility and you know, you probably know how to carry yourself and whatnot, but moving out of your house just gives you a lot more things to be responsible for. For example, I have a big list here. You got more responsibly, uh, uh, you gotta be more responsible according to your energy bill, rent, shoveling, doing dishes, mowing the lawn, Laundry, vacuuming, uh, like dusting, home repair, getting groceries, tech, like tech support, like fixing your computer if something breaks, uh, and then it like all of this is done by you. So you got to be very, very smart when you move on and live on your own because there's a lot of things that you can't go asking mommy and daddy to take care of when you're living in your own house. So. The fact that you're getting more responsibility is a very good thing because you're becoming more of a grown-up. You know what I mean? And that doesn't mean you don't have fun. It just means uh, you're more competent in scenarios. And not only does that make you a better person, but it also makes you like more attractive in the eyes of like females and whatnot. All right. So it's a very good thing to be more responsible. Tip number two: It gives you a sense of urgency when you're living on your own, and that's granted you're paying for your apartment. You have a sense of urgency to make money and to just improve yourself as quick as you can because you're not going to be able to fall back on your parents for like financial support or anything like that. Um, it's just uh, like I'll be honest with you, if I like run out of money, I have a savings account you know, that my parents funded as I was a baby so I can always go back to that but I don't think, I don't even know if I've had to, yeah I, I have had to tap into that my first year of college. But in reality, for a lot of people, you can't do that because their parents weren't like thinking ahead as much or whatever. So you have to have a sense of urgency to make money and to kind of better yourself so you can actually continue to live on your own. Because it's, it's a very scary world out there. And even though there is a lot of opportunities, no one's gonna give you a free place to live. You know what I mean? So you gotta take the initiative and get yourself a job uh, you got to trade out your leisure time to work somewhere. You know what I mean? It, uh, it's just a necessary part of life, part of being a grown-up, part of being more responsible. So like right now, I, uh, I'm in very, very much of a save mode. I'm in, I have very much of a save mode and I feel a great sense of urgency to get money very, very quickly and as much as possible. For example, I work at a moving company and uh, all of that money that I get from moving goes exactly straight into school and groceries. So I literally, before I, before I paid my tuition for this next semester, I was sitting, I was sitting at a good amount of money, but once I paid the tuition and the rent, I was down to like a hundred some dollars. So I would very much want you guys, do you hear that outside? There's like a fire truck or something. I would very much advise you to all save money when you're in college, when you're living on your own, because it really does give you the sense of urgency when you leave your parents and go live on your own. Reason number three for moving out of your parents' house. So, when you're on your own, you don't have a lot of money, because you probably don't have a very good job if you're a young guy like me. Well, I have a pretty good job, but like, you probably aren't gonna be working at like a top level company and getting paid like $60,000 a year. You know what I mean? So if you're like me, you're like, I'm, I'm above minimum wage and whatnot, but like, you know, we're not really making a whole lot of cash. So anyway, you gotta be humble. Moving out of your parents' house and living on your own, it creates humbleness within a person. It makes you be real stoic. You're saving money, you're buying cheaper things because expensive things, they're not that much different. For example, you gotta be very cheap on your food. You can't be buying the organic, sort of like grass-fed chicken, you know, the, the really, really expensive meats out there. You can't be buying like crazy, like really expensive nuts. You can't be buying like sauces for every single thing that you eat, because that's like six bucks a sauce. It's just like you gotta be very smart in terms of the groceries you buy. Because I've seen people go to the store 
They go in there wanting two things and they come out spending $60. And other than groceries, you gotta not spend as much money on clothing. Unlike me, a lot of people are looking at buying very expensive clothes, whether it be like, you know, the very famous uh, whatever it's called, like the fucking Yeezys or the uh, Supreme sweatshirts, you know what I mean? Like everyone wants the new, cool, expensive sweatshirt or shoe out there. But when you're in college, when you're living on your own, when you move out of your parents' house, you gotta be a little bit more stoic and humble. So you're not gonna go buy that, or at least it wouldn't be a very good idea. So in my case, you go down to Goodwill and you get yourself some really nice fitting shirts, you get yourself some nice jeans, and uh, you just, you just keep on rolling with that. You can get very good looking shirts at Goodwill. Like there are some shirts in there, in that closet over there that I have, that I've gotten straight from Goodwill and they fit better than most of my other shirts. So I'm telling you, when you're out of your parents' house, it is good that you become humble because you spend less money on shirts and shit like that. And you actually like expose yourself to maybe a little bit newer, different style, so like shirts that may not have a cool logo, but they fit on you really nice. And plus, maybe that'll leave with you after college when you start making more money. Maybe you'll still be humble and you'll still be spending money very intelligently and you'll actually be saving more. Also, like dishes. When you have basically no extra spending money, you gotta be very smart with dishes. This is something that a lot of people don't really like think about when they move out, but you gotta do your dishes. You know what I mean? You gotta do your dishes. So. I literally only like go from one bowl to the next bowl. I have one spoon and one fork because there's just no reason to have more. You know what I mean? So you just gotta, you start not spending very much money on like cutlery and just stuff that you would have had at your disposal 24 seven at your parents' house. Like I don't have that many cups. Like I only use like three cups. I have a one wine glass. I have one like cool water drinking cup and then I have like a like a stein or something over there so like there's literally only like three cups that I drink out of so it's just something you gotta you gotta realize and you're probably not gonna live in a big place so you gotta save on space too so you gotta be stoic and like you gotta like not buy extra shit and this will make you of course more humble it'll make you appreciate the few things that you do have you'll be really uh, adopting the whole minimalism sort of ideology which is good Last but not least, you're gonna have to be, or moving out of your parents' house, it affects how much fun you have. If you live in Milwaukee like me, you have a lot more access to really fun people and like really fun places to go. But at the same time, you don't really have a whole lot of money because you're living on your own and there's no one to like 100% tell you to like get out of the house. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain. But when you're living on your own, no one's gonna tell you what to do. So some people, and I would say this is the majority of guys I know, if you just let them, they're gonna stay inside and play video games all day. But if you're like me and you just wanna, you wanna like get somewhere, hopefully you're gonna make an attempt to get out more than you even did when you were in your parents' house because of the whole sense of urgency and whatnot. So no one's gonna tell you like, hey, Get out of the house, stop playing video games when you're living in your parents' house. And although that uh, that will help you, you're, you're putting all of the, your life responsibility and all your improvement capabilities on your parents to tell you that. But if you're living in your house and you're making your rules and you're doing what you wanna do and you're making like rules that you have to follow, you're giving that responsibility to yourself and that power to kind of get your ass off your chair and go out and get something for yourself. So that is why I believe living on your own and getting out of your parents' house is very beneficial to a college student and really anyone in general after high school. Well, anyway, guys, uh, this was a hard video to talk about because it's not like I didn't prepare for it, but it's just like, explaining these concepts is kind of like really up in the clouds so it was very hard but anyway i hope you guys got some good gold nuggets from this video i for one i'm just thinking back i'm just like i feel like i rambled the whole video 
But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, smack the like button, and stay awesome.